everyone welcome back today we're taking a look at the Polestar 3 these are some new images of the Polestar 3 that have been drawn out by the main designer on the project of the car we'll be exploring the front wing design and the overall SUV design in these new images it's just absolutely beautiful one of the main things about this car is that it does have a front spoiler or in other terms it has a front wing which is really unique for an SUV additionally at the bottom of the grille this car does feature active aero this is something very similar to what the Volvo EX90 will feature after all they're both built on the same architecture featuring the same platform and very similar in interior design so this was an article I posted just over a week ago and I've been meaning to talk about this vehicle these new images that I've seen so be sure to check out the Monument website. We are posting articles daily on Monument. Be sure to check out some of our latest Polestar news. These are some of the more detailed images of this vehicle. Absolutely stunning in yellow. It looks beautiful, seriously. Now we all know the history of Polestar. They started with the debut of the Polestar 1. It's a rare coupe car. It's a rare sports car to be in fact. Now the Polestar 2 on the other hand, it bears resemblance to the Volvo V.2 concept that was debuted or introduced in 2016. Now our main car, the Polestar 3 on the other hand, that launched last year in October. And it's fair to say that it immediately took a lot of attention away from other EV brands. Because this is a very different electric car compared to what we have currently on the market. With the launch of the Polestar 3, it's clear to see that the brand has slowly shifted away from its Volvo's origin. And according to the Polestar CEO, Thomas Ingeloth, at the unveiling, the Polestar 3 was designed from day one as a strictly Polestar car. It still bears some resemblance to other Polestar vehicles, such as the Thor Hammer headlights. But the majority of the design of this car is pure Polestar, and we've never really seen such design language before. So the Polestar 3 is an SUV with distinctive and minimalistic design suited for the electric age. With a large structure, it doesn't feel like one. Achieved through its front wing design that produce a slick look in balance with the rear wing. So this car has two wings and the active aero at the grill. Very, very much a technological car. Some more key details that are really fascinating for any Polestar fans. The incorporation of the wing on the Polestar 3 is a successful blend of various elements that gives it a stunning different front end. Unforeseen until now on an SUV, surprisingly, the wing was actually implemented rather late in the design of this car. And I think that speaks a lot to Polestar and what they're capable of. So something that this car relies on heavily is the optimized active airflow. Integrating technological design elements into the exterior, the front aerial wing connects an air to the bonnet for smoother airflow with less pressure. The rear aero wing increased downforce and stability at high speeds, all while avoiding turbulences. Finally, the rear aero blades disrupts the air, resulting in a graceful exit from either side of the vehicle. The front wing of the Polestar 3 is so distinctive and integrated into the design that it appears as though it was crafted from outset. However, the truth is far more intricate and fascinating as we know, this particular wing was brought onto the car in the latter part of its design. And it's been so helpful in the overall car's range, speed and look. Everything about this car was affected by the front wing in a very much positive way. Now additionally, the amazing things about this car is that it does, it does come with active air suspension, a panoramic glass roof, LED interior lighting, retractable door handles that sense when you are near, and 21-inch alloy wheels. Now the second quarter of this year, 2023, we'll see the optional pilot pack with LiDAR from Luminar Technology, created by tech magnet Austin Russell released. It includes a second control unit from NVIDIA, three cameras, four ultrasonic sensors, and a front and rear view camera cleaning. Significantly improving real-time data accuracy, the LiDAR system provides an advanced level of 3D scanning of the car's environment and ensures that it's optimally prepared for autonomous driving. Additionally, the company revealed that the Polestar 3 with long-range dual motor features now available at $83,900 and orders can be placed on the Polestar website. 
But let me just say, this video is obviously not sponsored. I wish if it was. Seriously, Polestar should really start sponsoring these videos. But of course, I'm already giving them free advertisement, so I'm guessing they probably won't. But the closer you look into this car, you'll actually see some amazing detail, such as what's on screen right now. Taking a closer look at the Thor Hammer headlights, you'll notice that the there's two additional light units at the top towards the left, towards the innermost side of the vehicle. And that's something that I didn't notice at first glance. However, now I'm starting to pay more attention and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a small detail, but it's really beautiful and fascinating. Ultimately, this is one of the most appealing thing about the vehicle's brand. They do do things very different from other electric manufacturers. And that's something that we really appreciate and we really like. These small details are just enough to make a big difference. Because it's obvious, it is clear, this is one of the few cars that's going to drag a lot of attention from onlookers and passerbys. And I can't wait. I cannot wait to test drive one of these vehicles to possibly get an opportunity to review it. That will be absolutely phenomenal. So let's end this video on one more positive note. I was looking at this render of the Polestar 3 and I've noticed that it looks like a race car. Seriously, it looks like something that you would get from Need for Speed. And that should not be underestimated at all because ultimately Polestar used to be a racing company. Everything about this brand, design details and all, are really authentic, very different from other brands. Extremely different from its parent company Volvo, except for the interior of course. But the interior is something that I like anyway, so I'm willing to live with it. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. And additionally, these vehicles, the Polestar 3, the Volvo EX90, they will get Google's latest HD camera system, which will help in the aid of autonomous driving and much more. And it's wonderful to look forward to these things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, check out this article. I will leave a link in the description. And officially, on our website now, you can actually sign up to a free subscription and you can leave comments, start a conversation. So if you click sign up, you can actually choose the free option if you'd like. We also have a premium content option, which basically means that you will get exclusive content, exclusive videos that I'll make, stocks and shares, stocks and shares related content and videos, more information on Neo, Polestar, EV charging, lithium, investment and research analysis based on my own content. And you can actually get that in a monthly plan for about five pounds. But either way, I'd be happy if you sign up. You'll also get our newsletters. Both will offer a newsletter. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and to our newsletter on our website as well. It's been wonderful to have your support on this channel. Really means a lot to me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment and I will see you in our next one.